Okay, so here we are with another unboxing, and I'm going to use my Stan Wilson non-flipper flipper to open this box because it's just a knife, guys. Doesn't matter what it costs. Doesn't matter how fancy or non-fancy a knife is. They are meant to be used, so just use them. Doesn't matter. If it gets messed up, you can always send it back to the maker or somebody else that can fix it, right? This is a cardboard box. It isn't gonna get too messed up by using it to open this package from my friend Kyle, okay? Now he has sent some other stuff. Some of these may be for sale. I, I gotta double check the list. So I don't think he said what was maybe for sale and what wasn't, but I know that there is one that probably is still for sale. There's just a bunch of stuff in here, and I do not remember the names of all of them. I meant to print out the list he sent me, but I did not. Here's one that kind of fell out of some of the bubble wrap. All right, let's get it going here. There's some cool stuff in here. I do remember for sure that there is some cool stuff. Oh boy, some other little stuff here. All right, this is going to be a fun one. Some more multiple things in here, too. All right. Well, let's just dive right in. Let's look at this one first since it kind of caught my eye. <laughs> Say, uh, Foltz. I have seen some of these before. I have not seen one with the Damascus blade. Three finger knife really kind of grips in there with the lanyard. It actually works really well because your pinky can grab that lanyard. Uh, not a huge neck knife person, but you could wear this as a neck knife. Kind of cool. Kind of fun. All right. These, I don't know. I'm going to have to look at the list and probably ask him what this is. It is a really, really small slip joint. But really cool. Oh, this one is small. Mother Pearl. I'm not sure if that's Mokume. It looks like it, but it doesn't look like it. So I'm going to have to get some details on some of these for sure, which is okay. It's normal. This is just a quick peek of some upcoming things. It's what the unboxings are. This one is shaped kind of oddly as well. So let's just dive right into that one. Ooh. Another Foltz. So this one, okay, I never talk bad about knives necessarily, but this is really not my style. This is a really, really upswept Persian style, um, Aladdin of the lamp sort of knife that doesn't appeal to me. Like, that's just not my thing. And I didn't mention it really on this one, but that is a little more upswept than I normally kind of prefer in a knife, that's purely aesthetics. You may love that, and that's okay. A lot of people don't like the, um, a lot of people really hate the look of the Hellraiser. And that's okay. I love it. You don't have to. Okay? All right. What do we got here? I can pretty much guarantee you it's not a Civivi. It is not a Civivi. Um, yeah, like I said, I don't remember what these are called. And this one is a bolstered lock, a bolster activated automatic. That's what I was trying to say there. This is really interesting. And then it's a liner lock. Damn, that thing fires hard too. Very cool, very interesting. 
We'll have to get some details on that. Like all of these. Well, not all of them. A couple of them I might know about. Like this one maybe I know about. This is a TJ Fisher launch. I have a TJ Fisher lash, which is the smaller version of this, down under this table that is for sale. That's why I think some of these might be for sale. So I'm going to have to find out. And, and if so, I will try to put a description, kind of a comments in the description. If I find out from him right away. I really like TJ Fisher's stuff. This is, this is a nice one. The lash is really kind of small for me. But the launch, this version, works well. Okay. Moving on. This one might be another launch from TJ. Basically the same knife with a little bit different uh, pivot collars, a little bit different blade. Yeah, just a little bit different pivot, really. The blades are pretty much identical. Um... But this one is way more used, you can see. Yeah, nice action on both of these. I think both of those might be for sale. I will confirm. I do have a lash that's a smaller version of that that is for sale. And this guy might look familiar. Might look something like that. <clears throat> Just a different version of a Stan Wilson non-flipper flipper. This was going to be the first one I got to handle and show on the channel, but then I ended up making a deal for this one, and I own this one, and it's not going nowhere. I, I really, really like this knife, okay? So, let's take a look at this one. Oh, good God. The action on it is so different. That's crazy. Like, wow. I can't even really explain it. This one is, this one fires way faster. This has way better action, both opening and closing. Oh, good Lord. I mean, they're very similar. It's not something you're going to pick up on video. The Damascus blade, different um, carbon fiber scales, just titanium bolsters versus the Timascus bolsters. So different, but the same. Wow. I kind of almost like this one better. It's really hard to explain. Wow. I Yeah, I don't know. I'm going to have to now spend some time with both of these because I thought this one was totally badass. But this other one here that is for sale, I don't know what the current price is. Um, if you're interested in that one, let me know for sure. Yeah, something about the action on this one is just snappier. Feels better on your, your index finger also. I don't know. Anyway, there you go. Kind of a quick look at some knives from my friend Kyle up in Oregon. Um, that you will see full videos on all of this stuff very soon. And if you're interested in uh, the non-flipper flipper, hit me up. These I don't know. I I'll have to double check. So, But they might be for sale. I'm not sure. Um, so there you go. Thanks for watching, everyone. Have yourselves a fantastic day and come back for this and all the other knives I've got.